You're watching Ultimate Catch. I'm your host, Captain Eric Choker. I'm out today in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, and this is awesome because I've never been out here before. Even though it's near where I live, this is a first time for me getting out here and fishing the New Smyrna Beach area. So this is Captain Dan Ballard, and he's going to be my guest captain today. Dan, why don't you tell me a little bit about the area and like what we're going to be doing today? Well, we're in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. It's a uh shark bite capital of the world and uh, it's winter time and we're going to be catching some sheephead today. Fish? There you go. Get him, get him yep, up. Get fish. Him. I just felt him bump it. All right. Hopefully it's a biggie. Yeah, it's pulling pretty good. Uh, it's almost topped up. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's a sheepy. Yes, sir. See him? You want to grab him, Dan? You can just show him up to the camera. We're looking for his big brother. Yes, we are. But that's a nice looking fish. They're really healthy. So they're down here and they're mostly, we're using sand fleas, right, Dan? Yes, that's so, right. So they enjoy eating those and that makes them really good table fare. So that way, if you want to bring one home to eat, they're really good to eat. They're like a white fish and they're really nice. That one's what about? 12 inches, he's almost legal, and there he goes. There he goes. A slippery fish. But we're out here at New Smyrna Beach, having a good time fishing. We're gonna do some winter fishing here, catching sheephead right now. See if we can get another one. All right, Dan, I got one. Looks like it might be a little guy, but anything's gonna feel little after those other fish, so let's see what we got. Oh, that's, you know, that's not decent. like a 12 incher. He's probably legal to keep, but we'll probably let yeah. him go back. A little guy. Cool, you can just present him up to the camera. So how how old do you think a fish like that is? Oh, wow, you had to like ask me that year? question, didn't you? Yeah, I mean. Like a yearling maybe out here? I would think so. I don't know exactly how fast these things grow. And they just cruise around in but. the ocean and eat all the different crustaceans. That's why they're such good fish to eat, because they eat a lot of good little crabs and things. Yeah, they eat the shrimps, they eat the little, they're around these rocks because of the barnacles. And yeah. what they do is these these teeth on here, they look like the little people teeth. Yeah, and yeah, they, or I call them horse teeth. Horse teeth, yeah. <laughs> they get on there and they just, they crunch them up. They crunch those barnacles and then they suck down the what's inside the barnacles oh, and they spit they out the they got those shell. good teeth, so they're difficult to hook in those teeth. Too. Yeah, that's why it's hard to catch them. All right, well, let him go. Let him go get bigger and somebody else can catch him. Hopefully you next time and he'll be a big keeper, seven pounds. Exactly. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's do it. Good job, Dan. We're having a good time out here at Ponce Inlet. Just a really beautiful day. I mean, man, you couldn't have picked a better day. Dan, this is about the best day we could have chose to get out here, buddy. Yeah, I don't think you could have got a better day than not this. Not in the winter. I mean, come on. And it's it's just perfect. You know, it's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's just ideal weather today to be outdoors. And what a great thing to do. Absolutely. Be out fishing. You come down here to Ponce Inlet and fish with Captain Dan. You can't beat it. Let's go. We'll get another one. Here we go. I got him. Ah, that might be a fatty. Hopefully it's a sheephead. Oh, it that's is. not a bad one. Ooh, let me... That's a pretty good one, Dan. I'm going to try and lift him up into the net, okay, buddy? Yep. That's a better one. That's our best one yet, right? Yeah. So now is that one keeper size? Probably, yeah. right? I would guess. Yeah, 12 inches is 12 inches. I would say he's like about 14, 13, 14, you know? Oh, so yeah. So that's a nice one. That's my best one yet today. So that's a good good one for dinner if you want to keep that one. You said you wanted some for your family. Oh, fish on. Fish on, Dan. I don't know how big he is. I'm getting rocked around, so I'm going to step down. I can't see him. Oh, nice one. Oh, another good one. Yeah. That's like a keeper, right? You want to swing them aboard? Yeah, I got him. All right, that's another good one, it looked like. Another nice, you know, slot size, well, legal size sheep head. They got to be 12, 12 inches in the state of Florida. And you can keep how many? Five? You can keep eight. Oh, eight per eight, person. Eight per person. That's why yep. he's still a fishing captain out here. He Absolutely. knows he's got to know the rules. You got to know so. the rules. I'm on. That's a good one. There you go. Little guy. Nice sheephead, though. That's a good sign. <laughs> right? Oh, they're here. I just lowered it down. Check him out. You want to come around yeah, that okay. way and just show him up? So 
now we've changed our location because the wind picked up a little bit and we're inside now here inside near Ponce Inlet and catching some sheep at. Pretty cool. Thanks, Dan. Good job, buddy. I wonder how many are down here. It's just like crazy. There's a big amount of them. I'm gonna drop it down and see if I get them. Man, it is deep. That's, that's a deep drop. There's already one on it. Got him. There he is, Mr. Sheephead. <laughs> little, little dude. Oh, and the pelican's back for us, too. I'm telling you. They really like those fish, but we can't feed them. Nice there you go. Guy. Catching a ton of fish here. There we go. That's a good one, too. Look. That's a fatty. That's going to be a better one. Yep, that looks like a nice one. It's not a giant, but he's... Decent. Probably a decent one. That's not bad. Yeah. He might be close to legal, but I wouldn't say he's legal, but it's a lot of fun to catch him. Look how they got that nice black, like, yeah. breast on them. It's cool looking. They're a nice looking fish, really. I mean, if you need a plier, I got them right here. No, you can just wiggle this thing. And... They pop loose. He's yeah. got his teeth chomped down go. on it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Nice one. Good looking fish. There you go, Ponce Inlet Sheephead. What's he yeah, measuring? He's at? almost 12. Yeah, he's, he's close, a, right? About a quarter of an inch off. But like you about said, about another we, month. Yep. <laughs> there he goes. All right, let's keep going. We're looking for that big one, the jumbo. Yes. Jumbo Sheephead. You get him? Yeah. There you go. They're eating it. Another there little, it is. Little guy. Looks like a mini uh, panfish. So how many do these? You know, if people are coming out with you, how many do they usually catch in a trip? 20, 30? Oh, easy. Yeah, I mean, at it, least, like you see, right? it's just the faster you throw it in, the faster it gets eaten. <laughs> so. I'm getting hit while I'm talking to you. It's great. And like I said, you just you just sit here and you and it's fun. You know, you're not it's catching more than fishing. Sure. So you're you know you're you're putting Which, fish on the boat, and then every now and then you get a nice keeper. Everybody you know? likes to catch, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I need a new. I got one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That might be the better one there. Don't come off this time. I'm trying to keep pressure on his upper. Can you see him yet? Was he good? Oh yeah, that's a better one. That might be a keeper. Right? It might be. I don't, yeah. I think he is. He oh yeah. Be 12 that's, I'm sure that one's 12. That might be 13. We're just used to looking at all them bigger fish I know. today. I think he's gonna make, oh, yeah. make at least 12. What do you think? Maybe 13. Need a plier to pull that? No. Let me catch him like this. Yank that out. Come to the dentist. Yeah, I got him. I, yeah, there you go. All right. This is a good so one. you want to put him on the measuring stick and Absolutely. see if he's going to make, uh, make it home for dinner tonight? Look at that. He's good. 13. 13 I said inches. about 13, yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Don't hurt yourself with him. No, they got they... such sharp fins on them. If you catch them wrong, they'll go right through your foot to them things. I had a pair of flip-flops on once, and I went to step on oh, one. Oh, yeah, and you learned. To keep them from moving, and this, this sucker right there went right through my flip-flop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a harpoon. They're sharp. Thank you. Dan. Thank you. Good fish. Great day out here. Another fish. Yeah, they pull hard. There, you know. I had a couple though that felt pretty big. Oh yeah. You know? I would they say. They get big for a reason. <laughs> That's true. I think like the biggest sheephead I ever caught was almost eight pounds. Yeah. And I got him out on a buoy. Oh, oh man, oh. that was a big one. <laughs> that was a, you know the big ones have a whole different feel to them? They're kind of just like pulling straight down. Put it in there. Got him? Big got one? Him. Little one. Little guy? There you go. Another fish. You got him? I'm off. I'm good. There you go. That's a, diff this yeah? is a little better one. You want me to get the net? No, he's fine. Sure? Yeah. Oh, nice one. That's a good looking one. There's a big one. 
Good job, Dan. That's a decent one. That's why Jan, Dan is the captain that catches them. There you go. That's a that's that's what you're looking for. This is what nice we're looking and for. Nice fat. Yes. Thick. Look at them. That's a dinner plate. That's gonna make you some good fish tonight. And you see how he was hooked? I mean, he was hooked right, right in the skin. Yeah, that's what you, you want to do. They're they're bare, when you get them in, it's better to hook get a net underneath them. Yeah. Than do so what I just did because them. you know you you lose them really quick. There you go. Cool looking fish. You get him. Is that a good one? Yeah. All right. Come on, Dan, get him. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got a little mini snapper. Oh, oh nice one. That's another fat one. Another that fat one. Even one. better than the other one now. That ain't bad. Right there. Good job. Cool. That's a beautiful fish. So that's what we're looking for. That's like ideal. And that's what you want to get. You want me to cut that or are you going to just pop it out? I'm going to pop it out. Got him? Watch, don't let him go in there. The pelicans would love him. That's your dinner fish. So when you come out, this is like a thing you do. This is like one of your family traditions to come out and catch these sheephead. Do a little dental work on them. I see some dental yeah, floss I was coming a, through there. I work part-time at an oral surgeon's office. <laughs> And um, I got some tricks. That and this will train the people. They use these at the, at, for, uh, we end up for fishing. So get that one. I guess that one's going in the box, right? Absolutely. So there you go. Hold it up to the camera. Another good, nice, nice one. Nice fish. And just throw him in the box. Absolutely. Good job, buddy. Two of them. They might just spin and cause me a nightmare. Because now there's two of them. They're like a helicopter they'll spin. Now I can just leave it there until they eat it. Oh, what the? That's a huge one. Get the net. Good job, Craig. Don't come <laughs> off. That thing is a solid biggie. Look at him, look at him. See him? Oh, yeah. Don't miss him. That might be the biggest one today. Oh, oh my you God. You get him? Got him? Nice. <laughs> so two of them were. Yeah. <laughs> Figure the camera That's guy. That's great. <laughs> so we were talking, and my camera guy, Craig, as many of you know him, said put on two, and that brought us the biggest one. I got the biggest sheep head today. That's a good sheep head there. So that's like kind of indicatively what you want, and you can see how thick they are, and they make really good, really good fish. All cool. right, and uh, let's throw it in a box for dinner. Absolutely. Let's go try for another one. Let's do it. Good one, Dan. Captain Dan, he got the good one. Well, it's been a fantastic day fishing out here with you. I had a great time, and I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Ultimate Catch. Ultimate Catch.